Hallo und guten Tag. Merry Christmas and ein frohes Fest. I um, hope you all had a relaxing last few days um, of Christmas or days before that, which probably weren't too relaxing, but I'm drifting off already, so let's get to the point. With today's video, I'm starting a playthrough of Diplomacy is not an option, which is closing uh, in on the end of its early access phase. Um, I started playing this game already some time ago, but um, then basically there was an update which deleted all save games or made them not usable anymore, so I'm back to step one. But um, then I thought, yeah, why not, then I can also just record my playthrough. So, we are obviously the mighty McGee, and we're gonna do the campaign mode. Um, there also is an endless and a challenge mode. This game is very close to They Are Billions, so you can get a rough guess what those two are. Uh, I'm gonna skip the tutorial as I got the basic knowledge of the game. Um, Diplomacy is not an option, it's not the easiest game to play in order to avoid psychological trauma and for the safety of your PC. Some people may find surprising ways to deal with anger and despair. I highly recommend you to play the tutorial. But as mentioned before, we already did that, so we're gonna pass. Uh, and we are down to the campaign map. Um, as you see, there's like um, two tectonical plates. I'm not too familiar with this world or its background story, so let's just assume it's some kind of medieval world. Wake up call. Your grandfather, Sir Duncan Ironbow, was a true war hero in the battle for independence of Sam Rainia. Sam Rainia? He shot 15 invalid knights and bit off the ear of another. For the queen, for that Queen Sybil, the Carefree granted him a fief and a title of nobility. The fief had been a poor place even under your grandfather. Yet your father left much of it desolated, especially the wine cellar. When he broke his neck while hunting rabbits, your reign began. Being young, you wanted to become famous, but after 16 years of peaceful life in the middle of nowhere, you left those dreams behind. After all, unlike many, you already have a glorious bloodline and a castle. Select difficulty. A walk in the park, challenge accepted or ultra hardcore. We're gonna go with challenge accepted because just like they are billions, this game is not a walk in the park. Um, so ultra hardcore is also not the way to start it, basically. <laughs> There's cutscene, so let's have a look at that. Yes. As you can already see, there is uh, some kind of humor to this game, which makes it also pretty enjoyable. Sadly, those are not voiced. I don't want to say yet, because I don't know if that is even planned. It's still an indie game after all, but maybe there will be some kind of voiceover at some point. Squires needed. There goes our well saved money. If you choose to do that, you can obviously skip those at any time if you play this yourself. <laughs> you don't even want to know, just take the money and leave. We are living quite a sad life.
Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> and there we are going. It's April the 28th, 1491. Uh, the fire of peasant rebellion suddenly broke out in my fief. The mob wants me, my family and anyone else who's in any way connected with royalty, royalty dead. A mob of armed peasants is heading for my castle, ravaging everything their dirty rakes can reach. Repulse all enemy attack waves, which is four in this scenario. Kill all rebels in the valley, otherwise they will join the final attacking wave. Basically just like in, in uh, Day of Billions. We got different uh, building tabs in this one. We're gonna start obviously with the population, get some housings going. Pretty much empty this out. Then we will need food next. There's berry picking houses. Um, you see that uh, there's like uh, the darker area on the and the brighter one on the edges that is bit, uh, basically, basically, I'm very sorry, uh, basically the uh, collecting range of these buildings. So as you see, there is quite range to them. But I think to remember that also these people are literally picking up the berries. So this takes some time also. So yeah, let's get one of that. Got a cart with wood over here. Um, I mean, as you see, it is a little slower pace than uh, they are billions. So once you are kind of acquainted with the game, it also might be a little bit more relaxing to play. Um, yeah, let's get that lumber mill over here for now. And let's do one more over here just to have a good production going. My lord, for the first time in history your castle will be stormed and if we are to tell anyone what it was like I would advise you to make some steps. Uh, we got a population growth of 13 per day. We got a food consumption of 22 which means we definitely need to step up our food production. As it seems to be going down, let's just get some random berry picker huts in all kind of directions. Mm. Let me think how to continue. Yeah, we basically need to wait for the lumber mills to pick up a bit. Um, yeah, we can increase the worker radius or decrease the worker radius. Uh, for now, we want these to concentrate on the buildings o uh, on the woods over here. Also, we will decrease this range a bit as so we got several housings. Yeah, maybe just go like that for now. Or make sure that the other one over here is also in collection range. Um, yeah, we will also need a builder house because that will speed up our building production. But we definitely need wood for now. So yeah, we didn't produce any wood during the last day, but the wood production should be stepping up rather soonish, hopefully. We want to decrease the radius a little because there is more than enough wood around us. And let's have a quick look at our army, which is these little guys over here. Uh, you can obviously free roam your camera. And have a look at these really nicely modeled buildings. I mean, it's a bit more voxel art, not that highly detailed, um, almost cartoonish style that um, they are buildings provided. Which, I mean, depends on your own preferences, I guess, which one you would prefer. For me, both are okay. I admittedly like they are billions a little more, just on the optical side. But that doesn't mean that this game is any bad at all. So we're gonna get another fisherman's hut, just to make sure that we got um, enough food coming in. We can pick these little things up. And we will clear out this rebel peasant hut over here. I wanted to say that <laughs> for a long time. These rebel peasants. Yeah, we uh, got our minimap obviously over here. As you see, this scenario is not that big of a map yet. Um, and we will try to clear it out. Obviously, before the attacks themselves start. Our units are in combat. Yeah, that was to be expected. 
Uh, if I remember correctly, these things we are picking up are soul crystals. Uh, okay, they are used for spec casting. I thought they are also used for, um, to remember that they were used for research, but maybe I'm mistaken here. Uh, what else did we have? We had the storage. I gotta get an overview again. The farm. We got the housings. Yeah, we wanted to do the worker hut for now. The builder's house, it was called. Because that will give us more builders. Um, also, we can do a great digger. Yeah. People will sadly die. And like that, we at least got a place for them to rest in dignity. But let's collect us some resources and continue our reconnaissance mission. You need more granaries. That is actually good because that means we got an overproduction of food. But let's not waste too much of the good food here. I quickly have to check out where the granary was, admittedly. I am sorry for that, but we're gonna do too quick. So might just basically preemptively because I think we will need stone at some point soonish for more advanced buildings. Uh, yeah, can quickly take out these and these. You can give consecutive orders with the shift button, which is always very nice if you have that. I hate if uh, RTS games don't provide this. Troops are under attack. Yeah, you know, let's actually quickly kill those rebels. <laughs> okay, over here is a little bit larger group of them, so let's clear out the south a bit more before we go over there. Um, let's make sure we also got some soldier production going. Um, we got a little bit down for... Okay, we got our food production is definitely going down. Or did go down, so... Let's wait for some more wood to come in and let's get two more fishermen. Because I think that lake provides two more spots for fishermen. Sat. But then again, we can also just bait the berry oh, picker so over here. Attack. And do those two fishermen locations. Luckily, there's no friendly fire with those uh, catapults. Otherwise, they would also kill our troops rather quickly. And effectively. <laughs> Sadly. I mean, you can also zoom in if you'd like to, but um, I prefer a little bit more overview than the close-up look. Uh, there's the first attack wave coming in two minutes, so we need to be ready for this. Mm, let's get some more fighting units, actually. Uh, okay, these cost three wood, which is actually a lot for us right now. So let's just um, stick with the regular soldiers, because there will be enough. Yeah. I think. If we got a sufficient amount. Okay, hey. yeah. let's quickly check the very corner if there's anything else and then we will check out the far south hopefully before they arrive let's make sure we got some more worker production going because you will also always need free workers for units um, and yeah just like a day of billions for everything basically you always need to keep your population up high uh, I don't think there's actual gold that you will get, but uh, my lord, it appears that our eagle eyed scouts lack arithmetic basics. One set attackers are plenty, the second set very many, the third lost count, and the fourth can't count at all. Great. So, they are many, probably. Or less. <laughs> or even more. We will find out. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, at the moment, we should be pretty good. Our units are in combat. Our food production should be going up rather soonish. So that's a good thing. 
Uh, the catapults need some time to start shooting. That's why they're not the best units to focus small enemy groups. They're basically meant to either shoot at really large enemy groups or just defend your base. Mm, admittedly, I'm not exact. I think I cannot go through the thick woods, or can I? Ah, oh, I can. Okay. I need to watch out for that then. Uh, let's maybe do one watchtower at least over here. And here. Enemy forces are approaching. And just one wooden tower. Uh, Alright, we don't need wards right now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to engage them mano a mano. Men on man combat. We are fighting to the very end. Sure. Let's make sure we got them all in one tech crew. Where's the catapult? Almost there. That's a good thing. And there they are. It's uh, actually a lot of them. Didn't expect that many. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone for a wall. Yeah. Then hopefully they are not as effective as our troops. Well, at least that's what I'm hoping for. Let's pull them back a bit, make sure that the catapult is having the refund with them. Okay, yeah, they are definitely a tad bit weaker than our troops. Otherwise this would have ended horribly. But as we already also got enough now, well my lord, apparently the starving, destitute and deprived rebel were simply looking for a way to die with dignity. As befits a wise shepherd, you showed your flock the right direction. My lord, allow me to introduce you a crowd of unwashed scum who have dared to challenge you. I guess uh, both of these messages came down to the last fighting event. Uh, you also can do formations with your troops if you just right click and drag them. Which is good for situations like that. If you don't do it like me and run right into them, as you don't see them. Right. I think nobody died yet. So we good. <laughs> Let's focus the north now. Overall this has some kind of Roman style, I, I'd say. I sometimes get the feeling, but uh, it's a very nice art style, I have to say. Let's make sure we got enough workers. How's the food production going? Okay. Well, it looks like we should be doing a minus or getting less food than we need, but then again... We are still having the maximum available, so... Yeah. Let's see how this is working out. You guys, the only thing I'm missing is an attack move, basically. I mean, you can I think do patrol maybe, and they will attack, but uh, it's a little bit strange to basically use patrol as some kind of attack move. Let's just get a good mix of archers and swordsmen here. Mm, well, that's we got the graveyard, the granary, 18 wood. We don't have that yet, but soon. And then I will immediately try to get a grain in reach so we can store a little more food. If we get an excess again. Which will hopefully be the case. Because we don't have too much at the moment. Yeah, probably. I mean, the patrol move pretty much does the attack move thing, so kind of works. Our are under Even though not officially called like uh, called that way. Uh, these are our um, yeah progression buildings. Let's call them progression buildings. I don't have. I'm far off upgrading actually, so let's stick to my current plans, which were the granary. I'm still a little bit. Um, yeah, slow on the finding building side. As I mean, I have played this for roughly two hours back in the days, but that was like really a few oh, months ago, so 
I have to fight everything again, to be fully honest. I don't think I need that catapult anymore, so let's um, keep it near the base for defensive purposes. Our troops are under attack. As you see, there's like a nice selection of different fighting units and even healers. But I would first have to upgrade the town hall and everything. So maybe not yet. So I don't feel it's necessarily needed to get more advanced stuff and units for the first mission. But just as a little foresight. I mean, pretty much it's very close to how the abilities manage the building progression inside the actual game. There's not that nice of a tech tree and stuff you can unlock. There's no hero missions, but uh, yeah. Our troops are under attack. Okay, we need to increase the working space for them to do something. Mm, let's see if we can also get a fisherman over here. Yeah, nice. Let's just do two. And make sure we got more of that sweet housing. I mean, we got 32 workers, so maybe not more housing needed at the moment, but better safe than sorry. I always love to say. And I totally overdo my task. <laughs> uh, maybe we... I, I'm just gonna go for the upgrade of the town hall right now. Let's show some of the more advanced units because, um, yeah. I don't really see the need for more. Uh, units. I mean, units I should... Uh, keep uh, still be buying uh, recruiting Jesus and as I was saying that I just realized I'm not doing that right now I really need to keep recruiting because those ways will be getting big right s very soon very soon I think I lost some of the soldiers so at least I think it were me uh, more <laughs> mehr this is the German word again sorry How much time do I have left? Two minutes. Yeah, we can still do a little more smashy and exploring. They sure love a good spanking. Those rebels. With R-A-B-B. -B. Okay, thanks to the storages we, uh, I built, I got more space. Why are you not defending? Okay. I mean, the catapult pretty much did a good job here. Oh my god. These bastards. I'm just gonna build two now to make up for the one they killed. <laughs> um, let's quickly get our good people up here actually do yeah. two turrets and a little reconnaissance tower and get that catapult in place which might be the most important part of our defense hey. uh, like that you have to double click basically to place them uh, let's just do a small one over here. Basically just uh, to make a gap to let them move into. Mm -hmm. move in. Alright. I think we are quite good overall. Some more huh? units. And we will be very good indeed. Where are our workers though? Workers be working, but where are they? Uh, maybe I should, with the size of, uh, uh, size of our colony, I uh, get another builder's hut. Housing. Come on. Where is that rebel scum? Yeah. Threatening our imperial.
Kiri El Duty. I think we're able to place up to nine units in one tower, but I have to recheck that. Yeah. There we go. And also do nine over here. And we will just put these right in front of here. And that catapult over here. Let them come, I say. Let them come. Catapult, where are you going? We are ready. We are so ready. I pity the fool that contests our glory. Okay, we don't need any more buildings right at the moment. So let's just enjoy the show. Of our catapult totally <laughs> ragdolling them. Oh, that's the wrong guy. It's kind of hard to micro, to be fully honest. <laughs> but maybe it's not uh, what you should be doing. I mean, it's pretty cheap to replace them, to be fully honest. Uh, let's clear the rest of the map so we got that part covered. I think over in, uh, maybe in that corner there's, there's something, but we're gonna do this house now. Catapult can stay in the center. Just in case. There's some remnant troops again trying to kill our granaries. There's another pickup over here, but there's also a building, so there's probably more enemies. Let's just make sure to give him a warm hello. Hello, peasants. Welcome to my kingdom. If I remember correctly, it's actually there's a different path you can take during the campaign. There was like missions where you can choose... Um, like if you want to side with uh, the population or the king, in example, stuff like that. Pretty interesting, to be honest, which, um, yeah, m m differs, makes pretty much uh, the whole campaign different. So there's some kind of replayability oh, to the campaign due to that. But for now, we are, I mean, overall, we are always just trying to get ourselves in the best position. But... Ah, oh, we lost the soldier there. Let's replace that front line quickly. Okay, it's really hard to micro those. <laughs> I mean, they got some uh, kind of health regeneration if they are out of combat, so if you are able to save them, it still is uh, saving resources. And good people. And the good people of our kingdom. How dare them. Sneaking in like that, sneaky, peaky little rebels. Rebels. <laughs> and I found a nice way to make it um, a little more, let's say, neutral. Actually, why would I use that large grouping down south? I can just take that grouping. Oh, these were actually making strange wolf sounds. Uh, granary is full, corpses to bury, bury the dead to avoid epidemics. Uh, I got a grave digger, so hopefully he's doing some of the digging. Where was he? Okay, it's uh, way out of his reach, so maybe let's just make him cover the whole map. Okay, it's uh, not in reach, sadly. Then maybe do another grave digger over here. <laughs> For no apparent reason besides getting that one body to avoid danger. Which probably comes in the form of zombies. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think there are zombies in this game. Sure. If I remember correctly. I mean I didn't play too far, so I, I don't take me. Don't take my word on that. I, I I don't know what what is to be expected in later parts of the game. 
Maybe they are certain twists, I don't know. Okay, so in theory I just have to wait for the next few attacks now. And while doing that I can try to get a better feeling of the production chain again. Um, Our troops are under attack. Actually having... what? Okay, there is still some of them. Maybe these were sh just some strays that basically came in right now. Okay, that looked like troops almost, but... Get our main forces over here, these guys over there, and the catapult. And just to be fully sure, let's just get some more. You never can have enough in these kind of games. City Fountain. Two plus two people live in each house within radius. Okay, the radius is not too big. Um. Yeah, let's just get one maybe, but where? Hey. Uh, I guess like that, it's five houses, yeah. five houses, not possible, five houses. I'm not sure if the, if the castle itself also does yeah. give some, and let's just go like that. I think we should also be yeah, able to upgrade the housing and the barracks. You can also just push the I button instead of clicking like me. <laughs> Hotkeys are a fine thing. Use them. But we will need more food, I think. Let's get another berry picking location going pretty much everywhere and as soon as we got enough wood yet uh, again we will also go for that juicy fisherman's hut over here and probably over here for now and we will need another lumber mill that's actually also the two of them. That's uh, quite a big forest, so... They got enough resources over there. One more over here. Ah, we also can upgrade the lumber mill, uh, lumber mill so I just realized. <coughs> and we got the hospital. Probably totally out of place. I don't know if it needs to be close to the civilian buildings, but highly likely, admittedly. Um, the next attack is coming from here. So let's just um, get our units over here. Get the reconnaissance or watchtower going. And as soon as we got um, some more wood again, we will also try to go for the wooden towers. We got a lot of stone, but yeah. I wasted some during the upgrades of the housings. And the castle upgrade, but we are not in desperate need of it yet. Oh, healers. Healers are your friend. Let's get a good bunch of them. And then we already should be very well situated on the healing side of things. Let's get some more upgrades going. Our wood production is a little low right now. But thanks to those. New lumber mills we should be picking up rather soonish. I guess our workers are a little bit overstrained right now because there's so many locations in uh, various spots they have to walk to. Yeah. Probably should get one more builder source at least yeah, over here. Yeah. But then again, we might be already too late for that. What is that actually? Iron ore fields, okay. Okay. Inside the water? Didn't expect that. I'm not sure if they will be... Uh, they should be coming from here. Yeah, yeah they should be coming from there. 
Got some more units in the north. Let's just make him join the rest. If we more than sure that we got enough because we don't have any static defenses. The rabbits are fleeing. Ah, we should be good. We should be good, hopefully. Let's fully engage. And make sure the catapult shoots the right spot. Please shoot at all catapult. Thank you. I mean, they don't, don't stand a chance against our archers, but... Okay, uh, what are the healers doing though? Should be auto casting. Okay. Okay, they are. Yeah. Maybe I don't. I shouldn't attack or like make them patrol. Looked like they were attacking before, but maybe then again it was just a casting animation I mistook. We don't have iron right now, so we cannot do those yet. But we can get the iron mine. Not over here. I mean, it, this, this doesn't look like an iron mine spot, but that's why I was so confused. But it definitely says yeah. iron ore fields. Unlimited even. I know. I know, man. Maybe there's uh, some other kind of possibility to gather iron. Uh, not too sure, though. <laughs> Maybe I figured it out at a later point. Or you still got buildings to unlock. That you don't have from the very beginning. Uh, let's get the spell. We got a lot of spell in power. Collected a lot of blue stones. <laughs> and blue stones equal magic. Which is obvious. Okay, you guys can uh, stop patrolling. Thank you. But we got one more wave incoming. So let's save up some wood as I really would like to get at least some static defense for the last wave. Might not be needed, but would feel a little more safe like that. Mm, we still got 35 workers. We got a lot of production keep uh, starting up right now, so I don't think we n necessarily would need more resource buildings. Food is okay. Uh, yeah, should be good. I mean, we're not, even though those stats say otherwise, the food is not really going down. Besides a dip when the next day starts, but it's mostly filled up again before. Yeah, I'm still missing the iron. But we should be getting some very soon. There's only two locations for iron in this map, yeah. No, I don't know what that golden thing is, though. What is that? Ah, gold. Okay. Okay. Either I can trade the market or find it on the map. Where is the market again? Heal is here. Not over here. They are attacking our buildings. What? Okay. Uh, let's quickly get that tower. And then make those rabbits pay for the. Really bad things they are doing to our people. The good people of my village, castle, castle village. Thank you very much for killing those infidels. And that's why it's obviously good to have um, a basic town wall at very least. To not have, uh, to not always have the need to have units basically everywhere. Probably cannot build here. There's, oh yeah, they're rebuilding our building. <laughs> Sounds logical. Yeah. I'm kind of pleased to see that you can actually build a wall in the woods. Yeah. Let's just go for a quick surrounding of this area for now. I'm not yet sure where that last wave will be coming from, so 
Let's stay a little bit more on the relaxed side for now. Also, we can increase those working spaces of our early lumber mills. And probably should also. Funny that there was actually sick woods in this area before. They are doing quite an effective job. Mm, let's make sure there is a gate so we would be able to leave or those woodworkers would be able to leave and gather the wood outside and not have to walk <laughs> around all the time. Even though they deserve no better for letting themselves getting killed without defending themselves. Uh, I think I was rotation... no, hold on. Uh, Q. Yeah, 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 obviously. That's what I said. <laughs> hold on, is there no connection over here? Okay, it's really hard to see anything. Hold on, wait a minute. Okay, maybe I wasn't able to actually build that much. So I think no, this doesn't seem to be connected. People are starving. What? Oh my god. How much food do I need? 206, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I got it, I got it. We will not be starving, my folk. <laughs> <laughs> my good people, trust me as your emperor. I will do my best to give you enough food in a very short amount of time. As we can still do some more fishermen's up. And the wood feeds to be coming in only slowly. Oh god, oh my god. This is a problem right now. They are coming from different sides. First of all, I really need to get over here quickly. Where are they? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Completely on the wrong side. Our citizens. Yeah, I probably should try to split these groups up a bit. They are attacking the walls. Yeah, let them attack the walls. That's not a problem. Let's keep some folks over here. And it's totally on my bed. I, I shouldn't have put all units on in one Our place. Are under attack. Uh, let's get some X warriors and spearmen and crossbowmen, just because we can. Our units are in combat. Okay, hopefully that jolly good force over here will be enough to defend this area. Um, let's actually get... Uh, it's hard to tell where they will be exactly coming from. Let's just get one tower over here. And some more archers over there again. I hope with some more advanced troops, they are still pretty good down there. Huh? I think this should be, uh, might be coming this way, so let's try to stay a little bit more flexible. Uh, okay, maybe no archers <laughs> for the south. And oh, yeah. uh, let's get that good fellas in there. Um, my lord, scouts report that rebels from all remaining camps are joining the attack against the enemy is gathering all his forces for a decisive assault. My lord, you may not have noticed, but we are short of food. The consequences are quite severe. Yeah, I realize that. And I'm working on fixing it. Yeah. With the help of our fishermen, we will survive. Yeah. Maybe I went a little bit too big for this first scenario, but then again, this is, uh, a game you never can go big enough. Yeah. I probably just need some farms. Ah, okay. I wasn't yeah. sure how the farming worked. Um, yeah, probably have to take a little more yeah. open spots for that. The people are starving, sire. What happened? Yeah. Okay, I guess that's a farm. My lord, you may not, but we are short of food. Okay. 
We got rats, I think, in the settlement. My lord, the rebellion has entered the face of psychic yeah. attack. The peasants have decided to throw all their remaining forces at us at once. Victory is ours if the castle defense will they hold. Attacking the walls. Obviously, it will hold. What are you thinking? We are professionals. Hey, the city is under okay. attack. What are they doing? They, they are kind of giving me a headache here. Our fortifications are under attack. I think, oh, maybe the archers are not enough for that alone. Our troops are under attack. Run, brother, run! Oh, that's not enough down here. Let's try to lure him they are to that again. direction. Uh, we might just attack. barely hold, actually. Ah, we should be put down here, I think. Any more advanced troops should be hopefully enough they are attacking the walls. to defeat them. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are good. We are very good. A little concern there, because those were a lot of rebels. The city is under attack. At least when they destroy a building, those did, uh, don't create instantly more rebels. Like in that other nice game. <laughs> Okay, I just uh, as expected, the more advanced troops down here hold this very easily in the end. But we got some more strays we have to take care of over here. And yeah, they are throwing stones at them. Nice. That's the spirit. My sovereign, you are safe. Oh, hold on, that's me. I am safe. Those were 1,158 just for the warm-up, <laughs> but, but, okay, actually I wanted to end the video right now, so, let's have a look at that video, and then, make it end. Ah, the poor tavern. What is wrong with the peasants? Don't they enjoy a life where they have to give everything to their leash? And don't leave anything for themselves? Or don't have anything left for themselves? Yeah, um, well, like this I want to end the first episode of Diplomacy is not an option. And as you saw, it really is not. Um, yeah, this is pretty much like they are billions, just a little bit, tad bit different, has its own game mechanics. Um, if you'd like to see more, I will be back with more. Thanks for coming by, thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed and hope to have you back for more. Maybe leave a comment, like or even subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you very much and see you soon. Goodbye.